Good morning, family. It is Thursday, February the 15th. I hope you are well, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Let's see what our guides, our angels, our ascended masters want us to know today from the divine to help guide us through our day. All right, we're going to start out with our fairy oracle. And today we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Okay. Maybe there's some things buried deep down that uh, need to come to the surface so we can either deal with it or remember it. And let's remember this um, can also have to do with your dreams. If you have a dream, keep a journal Okay, write down even the smallest details because you never know. It might actually activate something that needs to come to the surface. Okay, so that is your fairy oracle. All right, so we're going to move on to the light worker oracle. And today we have blessing the journey. All right. Blessing the journey, and that's number 37, by the way. All right, whether an inner imagining or an adventure of a more physical kind, a journey changes you and can have profound benefits. It may provide you with healing, refreshment, and understanding to resolve problems that couldn't be overcome with a narrow frame of reference. However, Every journey has inherent challenges. Part of the adventure is leaving behind the security and certainty of familiar terrain and ways of being. The oracle encourages you on your journey and supports you in overcoming any fear around the unknown, so you may evolve through the adventure and learning that awaits you. There is a blessing here for safe passage and a recognition that there are lands you are meant to discover. Something of value shall be uncovered and reclaimed during the journey, be it of mind, body, or soul. All right, guys, got to get out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you have to go outside the box in any form, if that's mind, body, or soul. And as we get out of our comfort zone, we learn from our new experiences. If we stay stuck in a rut, in routine, we get stagnant and we can't grow. So allow yourself to move forward, even with new experiences that make you come out of your comfort zone. We don't have to like it, but it is good and it's healthy. All right? Your mystical shaman card today is number 36 of the middle world all right are we going to go visit Shambhala maybe that's our journey huh the middle world is the realm of day-to-day -day reality and the playground of the living it is in the present moment where everything is happening yet the middle world is created by the future not only the past and it is mirror of the invisible realms. When things are right in the middle world, heaven and earth support everything. When they are not right, heaven and earth must be brought into order as well. Wow. Okay. Once again, are we getting stagnant in the day to day? All right. They're calling it a playground of the living. Well, you got to. You can be in the moment, you can be in the present, but let's also, once again, step out, step out of the comfort zone and look towards the future, all right? Think about all the invisible realms and beyond that veil that we can't see or experience unless we really focus on it, because you can. All right. Now, let's talk about the secret light oracle. Today we have number 32, and they're focusing on the Divine Masculine. All right. Don't worry, ladies. We all have masculine in us, too. We'll see if this resonates with you. All right. The light that supports desire and inspires action. 
Every day has its purpose. You will not always understand the purpose of something in it. However, it is someone's creation and that is to be respected. If you don't like it, let it be the inspiration to create something more aligned with your soul's purpose. Consider all areas of your life and reevaluate any part that may not be working. You can be your own father by respecting your ideas and providing a way for them to manifest. You're a master of your own making. So now is the time to recognize your inner strengths and motivation and to be a leader of your thoughts and emotions instead of a follower. Stand your ground, regain your self-respect, pick yourself up, dust yourself off. This is not a time to force against or try to control external forces. This is a time for disciplining the way you focus and what you think about so you can create your dreams. Basically, it sums it up. If you don't like what's going on, get motivated to change it. And that comes from within. I like what it says. I don't have to really add too much to that. Don't like it? Get up and dust yourself off. Move forward and change it. You are the change. All right. The Love and Light Oracle today. The gift of love and light. No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where it, where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. Well, as a Christian, if you were brought up in that church setting, no, I'm not preaching Christianity. I'm talking about spirituality. We were taught this little song called um, This Little Light of Mine. Well, th it's not a little light. You need to let it grow and you need to let it shine. You are the light. The light of the Christ consciousness is within you. Let people see it. We don't hide it under anything, right? All right, let's talk about angel therapy. Our ascended masters are with us today. Beautiful, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. That can be Yeshua, that can be your guardian angels, that can be shaman healers, all the heavenly host in any way, shape, or form. Masculine and feminine, it can be all of them. So let's uh, tend to focus on them and what they are trying to teach us. That's where these oracles come from. Okay, when I ask to pull cards of what the collective needs to hear today, they, along with our divine creator, send them. All right, so let's remember who they are, right? All right, white light oracle today, number 43, karma of Kutuhala. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Kutuhala. Looks like a phoenix to me. Interesting. All right, let's see what Elena Fairchild talks about this card. All right. Your sacred soul passion is powerful enough to shift the state of your inner reality and your outer experience. So commit to what truly ignites your heart and do not be dissuaded by anything or anyone. If you are seeking to make a commitment, do so when it truly connects you to your heart. Follow your genuine meaningful bliss. Know that no matter what appears to be, you shall prevail. You shall rise. I think we just had this one not too long ago, but that's okay. It must be very important that it comes back in. All right. Now, the kutuhala in Sanskrit actually means that which excites wonder. So are we off exploring? Are we off learning? What is the fire in your belly? Hmm? All right. The Kali Oracle today. Number two, Vishvamata. Vishvamata. Interesting. All right. See that third eye poking out there? Let's find out what this card means. 
That's number two. And Elena Fairchild translates this to, with her protection, even significant uncertainty does not need to be wrought with despair. There is a pathway that can shift your devastation into a palpable experience of being protected and guided through a difficulty. Trust where you are being led. Grace shall come from this. We all need a little grace, right? A little grace and mercy. It doesn't matter where you're at on your journey. Our egos tend to keep us down and make us think that it's all doom and gloom and despair. It's not. There's a reason you're going through it. Go through it and learn from it. Okay? All right. And as an add little bonus, I decided to pull one tarot card today just to ask spirit where the collective is. Give me one card that could overall sum up the collective. And today I pulled the page of wands, a beautiful card of optimism, having the passion and desire to start a new venture. Apparently today we're traveling. Start a new venture. All right. Get excited. It's about new beginnings. It's also remembering to give gratitude to your divine creator for that journey and the opportunity. So go on and start a new process, a new journey, a new project, traveling, whatever that means. It could be uh, making a plan a plan to do anything, but do it with optimism, positivity, but gratitude for the opportunity, okay? This is the fire in your belly to start out something. And pages are about learning something new. And we're all learning and growing every day. So a little extra bonus today. All right? All right, guys, that's it. Enjoy these cards. I hope somebody got a blessing out of them. And you have a very, very blessed day.